Laura had been saving for quite some time to have a weekend getaway with her daughter. Life had become expensive. She was not exempted from this as a single mother, and the fact that she was finally able to take her daughter to one of her favorite cities was a dream come true. It was a true girl's trip with matching backpacks and suitcases. However, when they reached the boarding gate and Laura handed over their tickets, the airline staff had to pull her aside. She couldn't board the plane with these tickets, and when they told her why, she couldn't stop herself from crying. Laura couldn't believe what she was hearing. She looked at her little girl, holding on to her backpack, her eyes filled with wonder as she looked at the plane. It would have been her first time flying, too. Laura turned back to the staff. There must be a mistake, she said, desperation seeping through her voice. Jenny now turned to her mother, confusion on her face. The four-year-old walked to her, grabbing her hand. Are you okay, mommy? She asked before the airline staff could answer Laura. Laura tried to smile through her tears, swiftly wiping them away with her other hand. She had to reassure Jenny everything was fine. Laura hoped the airline staff would explain it to her and help her reach their destination. She couldn't wrap her head around the fact that they weren't allowed in. Why had they stopped her from boarding? What was she going to tell her daughter? And most importantly, were they still going on their trip? As Laura and her daughter, Jenny, exited the taxi, their eyes widened as they arrived at the airport taxi drop-off. It was the first time for Jenny to fly, and Laura's amount of airtime was also limited. Both were nervous, but in a good way, as excitement was clear in their step. They had no clue what drama today had in store for them. Laura and Jenny walk into the airport toward the check-in desk with suitcases and bags in hand. Laura checks her purse, looking into it to ensure she has all the necessary documents, passports, travel insurance, and travel agency booking papers. It didn't seem like she was missing anything, but her eyes lingered in the bag. There, in the bottom corner, she could see her worn-out wallet, something that she had had before Jenny was even born. She definitely needed a new one, but she had to cut corners to afford this trip. She didn't have the luxury to get a new one. The old and worn, as long as it wasn't broken, had to do. She is pulled out of the negative thoughts by Jenny's excitement. Everything seems to be an adventure, from the escalators to the large viewing windows showcasing the planes. Laura can't help but smile as her daughter keeps pointing at the planes lifting off and making incredibly cute sounds as they do so. She would have her daughter pose arms wide next to the plane as she was snapping some pictures of those moments. She wanted to cherish those memories at a later time. After a few cute shots and a nice couple that would take their picture, they decided to look at a few shops. They soon came to the part of the airport with cute little shops. Look, mommy, look, Jenny said as she tugged on her mother's hand towards an airport shop filled with various toys. She might just get her daughter a toy with some spare change. She had been such a good girl. As Laura dug into the side pockets of her backpack, she retrieved a handful of save count. What would you like, sweetheart? Laura asked, her eyes scanning the price tags. Jenny, with the decisive certainty that only a four-year-old could have pointed at a small airplane toy. Laura's heart warmed. Perfect choice, she whispered. It truly was fitting for what was to come. After going around the terminal, it was finally time to check in. Laura had wanted to be at the airport on time, to make a day out of it. She only wanted Jenny to have fond memories of the trip. As they approached the airline's check-in counter, which had only recently been opened, Laura couldn't help her heart racing from excitement. Laura rummaged through her backpack to get the travel agency papers and identification and handed them and her QR check-in code to the airline staff member. The airline staff member took their information with a reassuring smile. However, a subtle furrow creased her brow as she glanced at their tickets. The staff member hesitated, their fingers hovering over the keyboard, their eyes fixed on the computer screen. It was a hesitation Laura couldn't ignore. She had paid off her credit card. The payment should have gone through. Had it not, worry started to seep into her face. The staff member glanced back up at Laura. As quick as the hesitation appeared, it had now been brushed off. With a polite nod, she handed back the tickets. It's just a little system glitch happens sometimes, the woman explained, their tone masking any underlying concern. You're all set. Have a great flight. Laura's worry dissipated as she gripped the tickets tightly. She had paid in full, and they were fine. However, this was only the start of her worries. Laura and Jenny passed the security checkpoint without a hitch. 
Jenny even was incredibly interested in the large machines, asking the personnel questions that would silence her curiosity. Due to how quiet it was, they even showed her how the metal detectors worked. Jenny was ecstatic. Laura only smiled, happy that the personnel was so gentle with her daughter. Past the security checkpoint, Laura and Jenny found a quiet corner by a large glass window at which Jenny could look at the large planes ascending and descending from the sky undisturbed. The soft hum of the airport machinery and the muffled chatter of fellow passengers filled the air. Jenny clutched her newly acquired airplane, her imagination taking flight before the real journey began. While Jenny was lost in her miniature world of make-believe, landing and taking off with the airplanes outside, Laura sat down and took out their trip itinerary. She wanted everything to go smoothly, and double-checking the details had become a ritual. She just wanted to make sure everything went perfectly. However, she was missing the bigger picture by focusing on the details. She reviewed the boarding time, gate number, and departure information, occasionally stealing glances at Jenny. The sight of her daughter's innocent joy brought a smile to Laura's face. This was their first big adventure. She couldn't wait to take pictures with her at the destination to reminisce with Jenny when she got older. As the minutes passed and flight attendants started to gather around the gate, it was almost time to board. Laura felt the suspense building within her, but dismissed them as typical pre-flight jitters. She had flown only a few times before. She decided she would not stand in line. She knew Jenny didn't like just standing still somewhere, and she wouldn't want her to get fussy. The employees of the airline were rather quick with how fast they went through the line, and the moment the lines were almost at their end, Laura grabbed Jenny's attention. Sweetheart, it is time for us to board the big plane, she said as she pointed from Jenny's plane to the hangar. Jenny's eyes shone at her mother's words, not knowing that she was wrong. As they inched closer to the boarding gate, Laura leaned down to Jenny's level, her voice soft and filled with excitement. You know, sweetheart, where we're going is like a magical land. There are places where the trees touch the sky and the rivers sing songs. Jenny's eyes widened, her imagination ignited. Really, mommy? She whispered, her voice filled with awe. Laura nodded, her heart swelling with joy at her daughter's wonder. And that's not all. Laura continued, her voice taking on a dreamy quality. There are beaches with golden sands that feel like silk under your feet. We'll build the biggest sandcastles and maybe even find a hidden treasure. Jenny giggled, imagining herself as a little pirate, her toy airplane now a treasure map. In the ocean? Jenny asked. It's as blue as your eyes, Laura replied, tapping Jenny's nose playfully. Laura's eyes twinkled mischievously. And oh, the food. There are ice creams and flavors you've never even heard of, and fruits so juicy and sweet, they taste like they've been kissed by the sun. Jenny's mouth watered at the thought. Can we try them all? She asked eagerly. Laura laughed. We'll have a feast every day. Jenny clapped her hands in delight, her earlier apprehensions about the trip melting away. And when the sun sets, Laura whispered, her voice filled with wonder. The sky becomes a canvas of stars. We'll lay on the beach, listen to the waves, and count shooting stars. Maybe even make a wish or two. Jenny's eyes sparkled, reflecting the stars in her mother's tales. I'll wish for more days like this, she murmured, snuggling closer to Laura, feeling safe and loved. The line moved steadily, bringing them closer to their adventure. Jenny's heart raced with excitement, her small hand gripping her toy airplane tighter. Every word from her mother painted vivid images in her mind. Beaches, treasures, tasty treats, and a sky full of stars. The world seemed so big, and she was ready to explore it all. Laura felt Jenny's excitement and squeezed her hand reassuringly. Ready for our adventure? She asked. Jenny nodded vigorously, her joyful jitters evident in her bright eyes. As they continued to wait, Jenny's voice bubbled with enthusiasm. Mommy, I want to build the tallest sandcastle ever. And maybe I'll meet a friend. And we can build it together. Her eyes sparkled with the innocent joy of childhood dreams. Laura smiled, imagining Jenny making friends and playing on the beach. That sounds wonderful, sweetheart. I can't wait to see your masterpiece. 
The ambient noise of the airport was suddenly punctuated by the soft buzz of Laura's phone. She reached in her bag, pulling out the device. Jenny watched with curiosity, her thoughts momentarily diverted from sandcastles and new friends. Laura's face lit up as she saw the sender, a familiar name that always brought warmth to her heart. Opening the message, Laura's eyes scanned the words. Wishing you both the most amazing trip, you deserve all the happiness in the world. It was from her best friend, always there with words of encouragement and love. Laura felt a surge of gratitude. She quickly typed back, thank you, we're so excited, love you. Jenny, noticing her mother's smile, asked, who is it from mommy? The line seemed to move faster now, and the boarding gate loomed ahead. Laura felt a mix of excitement and the usual pre-flight jitters. She held Jenny's hand a little tighter, reassuring herself with the warmth of her daughter's grip. Almost there, she whispered to Jenny who nodded, her eyes fixed on the gate. Both were blissfully unaware of the turn their journey was about to take. As they reached the front of the line, Laura confidently handed over their boarding passes. But instead of the expected green light and cheerful beep, the scanner flashed a glaring red. Laura's heart skipped a beat. There must be some mistake, she thought her pulse quickening. The attendant tried scanning the pass again, but the result remained unchanged. A knot of dread formed in Laura's stomach. Laura's mind raced. Had she mixed up the dates? Was there an issue with their seats? She mentally retraced her steps, trying to pinpoint any oversight. Is there a problem? She asked, trying to keep her voice steady. The attendant looked up, her expression unreadable. Just a moment, ma'am, she replied. Laura's palms grew sweaty, the weight of uncertainty pressing down on her. Jenny, sensing the change in atmosphere, tugged at Laura's hand. Mommy, why are we waiting? She asked, her voice tinged with confusion. Laura knelt down, forcing a smile. Just a little hiccup, sweetie. We'll be on our way soon. But Jenny's observant eyes caught the tension in her mother's face. It'll be okay, Mommy, she whispered wrapping her arms around Laura in a comforting embrace. The flight attendant, now looking slightly concerned, gestured to a colleague nearby. The two began conversing in hushed tones, occasionally glancing in Laura's direction. Laura's concern deepened. Can someone please tell me what's going on? She asked, trying to mask her growing anxiety. The second attendant approached, her face a practiced mask of professionalism. Ma'am, there seems to be an issue with your boarding pass. Laura strained her ears, trying to catch the murmured conversations between the airline staff. Words like overbooked and system error floated to her, each snippet amplifying her worry. She clutched Jenny's hand, drawing strength from her daughter's unwavering trust. We just need to sort this out, she whispered to herself, hoping against hope that the issue would be resolved swiftly and they could continue on their much-anticipated journey. Laura's mind flashed back to the check-in counter where a similar glitch had momentarily stalled their progress. It's probably just another system error, she thought, trying to calm her racing heart. She took a deep breath, reminding herself of the reassuring smile of the check-in attendant earlier. These things happen, she murmured, hoping for a quick resolution. The attendant's next words felt like a punch to the gut. I'm sorry, ma'am, but it seems you and your daughter cannot board this flight. Laura's eyes widened in disbelief. There must be some mistake, she stammered, her voice barely above a whisper. The weight of the situation pressed down on her, making it hard to breathe. This couldn't be happening, not now. Desperation gripped Laura as she tried to process the information. But we've planned this for months, she protested, her voice shaking. There has to be a way to fix this. She mentally retraced every step of their booking process, searching for any oversight or error on her part. The tickets, the confirmation email, the payment, Everything had seemed in order. Amidst the confusion, Jenny's voice cut through, clear and unwavering. It's okay, mommy. They'll fix it, right? Her innocent eyes, filled with trust and optimism, met Laura's. In that moment, Laura drew strength from her daughter's faith. She squeezed Jenny's hand, whispering, Yes, sweetie, we'll figure this out. Jenny nodded, her belief in her mother unshaken. Another attendant joined the conversation, her face apologetic. It seems there's been a mix-up. The flight is fully booked and your seats have been assigned to other passengers. 
Laura's heart sank. The reality of their situation became painfully clear. Their long-awaited adventure was hanging by a thread, and Laura felt a mix of frustration and helplessness. She had to find a way to make things right. Determined not to let the situation derail their plans, Laura addressed the attendants with a firm yet polite tone. There has to be a way to resolve this. Can we check for any available seats on the next flight? Or perhaps there's been a mistake in the system? She hoped her proactive approach would yield results, her mind working overtime to find potential solutions. Amidst the uncertainty, Jenny's small hand tightened around Laura's. The little girl, sensing the gravity of the situation, offered her silent support. She didn't fully understand the complexities at play, but she knew her mother was fighting for their adventure. Laura felt the reassuring pressure of Jenny's grip, a reminder that they were in this together, no matter the outcome. After what felt like an eternity, one of the attendants spoke up. I'm calling our supervisor to see if we can find a solution. Laura's heart fluttered with hope. Supervisors often had more authority to make decisions, and she clung to the possibility of a favorable resolution. Moments later, a poised woman approached her badge indicating her senior position. As the supervisor drew closer, Laura's eyes widened in recognition. The sharp features, the confident stride, it was Lisa, her best friend from college and now apparently a higher up in the airline. Laura, Lisa exclaimed, equally surprised. Their unexpected reunion amidst the chaos brought a momentary relief to Laura, who now hoped that Lisa could help untangle the mess. Lisa quickly scanned the situation, her professional demeanor taking over. Let me see what's going on, she said, pulling up the booking details. After a few tense moments, she looked up, her expression softening. Laura, there's something you need to know. As Lisa began to explain, Laura's initial confusion gave way to shock, her emotions swinging from anxiety to disbelief. Lisa took a deep breath, her eyes meeting Laura's. I booked business class tickets for both of you as a gift, she began, her voice gentle. I wanted this trip to be special for you and Jenny. Laura's eyes widened in surprise, the weight of Lisa's generosity sinking in. The luxurious seats, the extra amenities. It was a dream she hadn't even dared to hope for. But how? Laura stammered, trying to piece together the puzzle. Lisa sighed. I called the travel agency to arrange it. There must have been a mix-up with the emails. Laura's earlier tickets, it seemed, were never meant to be used. The realization hit her like a ton of bricks. All the confusion, the anxiety, it stemmed from a well-intentioned act of kindness. Jenny, catching on to the conversation, looked up with bright eyes. Does that mean we get to sit in the big comfy chairs, mommy? She asked, her voice filled with hope. Laura nodded, her throat tight with emotion. Yes, sweetheart, thanks to Aunt Lisa. Jenny's face lit up, her earlier worries forgotten in the face of this new, delightful twist. Tears welled up in Laura's eyes as the weight of Lisa's gesture settled in. She stepped forward, embracing her friend tightly. Thank you, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. Lisa hugged her back, understanding the depth of Laura's gratitude. You deserve this, she murmured, her own eyes glistening. It was a moment of pure, unfiltered emotion. Two friends sharing a bond deeper than words could convey. As they pulled apart, Laura took a moment to reflect. The day had been a roller coaster of emotions, but through it all, the power of friendship shone brightly. Lisa's selfless act was a testament to the lengths friends would go to uplift each other. With a grateful heart, Laura realized that while their trip was just beginning, the journey had already gifted her with memories she'd cherish forever. Lisa, with a calm and apologetic demeanor, began to unravel the story. I wanted to surprise you, so I secretly upgraded your tickets. I informed the travel agency, but it seems there was a mix-up. Laura listened intently, the pieces of the puzzle slowly fitting together. The unexpected twists and turns of the day began to make sense, all stemming from a heartfelt gesture. I also arranged for a refund on your original tickets, Lisa continued, but it seems they sent the confirmation to the wrong email. Laura's eyes widened, realizing the depth of Lisa's generosity. Not only had she gifted them an upgrade, 
but she had also ensured Laura wouldn't be out of pocket. The magnitude of the gesture left Laura momentarily speechless. The weight that had been pressing on Laura's chest lifted, replaced by a profound sense of relief. The roller coaster of emotions, from excitement to anxiety and now to gratitude, was overwhelming. She took a deep breath, feeling as if she could finally breathe freely. Thank you, Lisa, she whispered, her voice thick with emotion. You've turned a potential disaster into a dream. Amidst the heartfelt conversations, Jenny tugged at Lisa's sleeve. Look, Aunt Lisa, she exclaimed, holding up her toy airplane. It's just like the one we're going on. Lisa knelt down, admiring the toy with genuine interest. It's beautiful, Jenny, she smiled. The simple act of sharing her toy bridged the gap between the day's fantasies and the impending reality of their luxurious journey. With everything sorted, Lisa gestured for them to follow. Let's get you both settled, she said, leading the way to the business class boarding area. The promise of plush seats, attentive service, and a journey of unparalleled comfort awaited them. As they walked, Laura felt a mix of excitement and gratitude, eager to embark on this unexpected adventure in style. Stepping into the business class cabin, Laura and Jenny were met with a sight that took their breath away. Spacious seats, ambient lighting, and a serene atmosphere greeted them. Laura sank into her seat, the soft leather embracing her. She glanced around, taking in the state-of-the-art entertainment system and the premium amenities. It was a world apart from what they had expected, and they were ready to indulge. Jenny's eyes sparkled with wonder as she clambered onto her seat. She giggled as she played with the reclining buttons, watching her seat transform into a flatbed. Look, Mommy, it's like a bed in the sky, she exclaimed. She eagerly explored the contents of the amenity kit, her joy evident in every discovery. For Jenny, the journey had already become an adventure in itself. Lisa, taking a moment from her duties, approached with two glasses of sparkling juice. A toast, she said, handing one to Laura. Their glasses clinked, the sound echoing the sentiment of their bond. To friendship, surprises, and unforgettable journeys, Lisa smiled. Laura nodded, her eyes misty, and to having friends who turn challenges into cherished memories she added, sipping her drink. As the plane's engines roared to life and they began their ascent, Jenny pressed her face against the window. The world below grew smaller, and the vast expanse of the sky beckoned. We're flying, Mommy, just like my toy plane, she exclaimed. Laura smiled, watching her daughter's imagination take flight. The sky, it seemed, was not the limit but just the beginning. As the plane leveled off and the world outside transformed into a canvas of clouds and blue, Laura leaned back, lost in thought. The day's events played in her mind, a tapestry of emotions, challenges, and unexpected blessings. She realized that while destinations were special, it was the journey and the people you shared it with that truly mattered. With a contented sigh, she closed her eyes grateful for the love and friendship that had turned a potential disaster into a dream come true. As the plane soared higher, Jenny's imagination took flight. She saw the fluffy clouds as grand castles and mystical kingdoms. With her toy airplane in hand, she navigated through these dreamy realms, creating stories of brave pilots and magical lands. Mommy, look, that cloud looks like a dragon, she exclaimed, her eyes wide with wonder completely oblivious to the earlier hiccup with the boarding pass. Pulling out a small journal from her bag, Laura began to write. She captured the day's events, from the anxiety at the boarding gate due to the insufficient boarding pass to the unexpected upgrade and the overwhelming gratitude she felt. Each word was a testament to the day's roller coaster of emotions. It was a story she wanted to remember, a reminder of life's unpredictable beauty. With Jenny engrossed in her cloud adventures, Laura and Lisa shared a quiet moment. They reminisced about their college days, the memories they'd created, and the paths their lives had taken. I just wanted you to have a special trip, Lisa whispered, her eyes soft. Laura nodded, her heart full. Your gesture turned a challenging day into one of the most memorable ones, she replied, gratitude evident in her voice. The gentle hum of the plane and the soft lull of the clouds soon lulled Jenny into a peaceful slumber. Her toy airplane rested beside her, 
a symbol of the day's adventures. Laura watched her daughter, her heart swelling with love. The little girl's dreams were now filled with the promise of the adventures that awaited them, untouched by the earlier boarding pass confusion. As night enveloped the plane, a blanket of stars twinkled outside. Laura gazed at the vast expanse, lost in thought. The day had taught her the value of resilience, friendship, and cherishing the unexpected moments. She made a silent promise to herself, to always find the silver lining, to cherish the moments that truly mattered, and to be eternally grateful for the love and kindness that life offered. The darkness outside began to recede, replaced by a soft, ethereal glow. As the first rays of the sun pierced the horizon, the plane was bathed in a warm, golden hue. It was a magical sight, the world below awakening to a new dawn. Laura gazed out, the beauty of the moment not lost on her. It was a fresh start, a new day filled with endless possibilities. The announcement of their impending arrival buzzed through the cabin. Laura and Jenny exchanged excited glances, their destination now just moments away. The earlier events of the day seemed distant, replaced by the thrill of exploration. We're almost there, sweetie, Laura whispered, her voice filled with anticipation. Jenny nodded, her eyes shining with excitement, eager to step into the new world awaiting them. In the quiet moments before landing, Laura took a moment to reflect. The day had been a whirlwind, from the confusion over the insufficient boarding pass to the unexpected upgrade. But as she thought back, she realized that the true gift wasn't the luxurious seats or the destination itself. It was the memories made, the challenges overcome, and the love shared. Those were the treasures she'd carry with her forever. Jenny, now fully awake, was a bundle of energy. She peeked over the seats, making funny faces at the passengers behind, her giggles infectious. She played peekboo with a toddler a few rows ahead, their laughter echoing through the cabin. Her playful antics brought smiles to the faces of those around, her joy proving to be the perfect start to everyone's day. The plane began its gentle descent, the world below coming into clearer view. Laura and Jenny held hands, their fingers intertwined, a symbol of their shared journey. The adventures that awaited them were just the beginning, but the day's events had already etched a permanent mark on their hearts. As the wheels touched the ground, they knew this was a journey they'd remember, not for the destination, but for the path they'd traveled together.